Here on midday, the 26th biennial Omaha product show is headed to town next week. It is the largest business and industrial expo in the entire state of Nebraska. So joining me today to preview the event is Bob Mancuso as well as Tim Hesacker. You're from Nebraska Machinery. Tim, we're going to get to you in just a second. Bob, I want to get an overview of this thing first. You've been right. doing it for just over 50 years now. Your dad started this back, uh, I believe, in 1965. Right. Talk about the tradition and how it's uh, evolved over oh, the course yeah. of the last half century. Exactly. Well, just a tremendous show. So trade shows, you know, way back over 50 years ago, this show was one that was real into industrial. So it's machinery, equipment, manufacturing. You used to have big equipment, you know, robot well, robotics weren't out there yet, but you had big machinery that was encompassing a lot of space, and that's why they are biennial because the machinery didn't really change that much every year and it was so heavy to bring in with all the different concepts that they did them every other year. So this is one of the largest in the Midwest, uh, 26 biennial, so over 50 years. Wow. You're gonna, you need a lot of space, like you mentioned. That's why it's held at the CenturyLink Center next Wednesday and Thursday. This uh, trade show is really for everybody, the user, the buyer, and the seller. Right. Sponsored by the Institute of Supply Management, which is the purchaser of the top 200-plus companies in Nebraska. They're at the show. They're at the opening luncheon. They'll have a booth at the show so they can come walk around and see the exhibitors. And they're also there in case people have questions for them of purchasing. All right, so we're talking a lot about change here over the course of a half century. Tim, uh, change in your business, Nebraska Machinery. You guys used to be uh, diesel and gas, and you guys have since made a, a big change, and you're going to benefit greatly uh, by uh, showing it to the uh, vendors and, and the people and the users at next week's show. Yeah, we, uh, we have a, a transition going on in our industry of, of forklift material handling from gas, diesel to electric. Technology is really advanced. Uh, we've had electric products for, since the 70s, but the product's really advanced, and we have a full display of all of our products at the product show. What's the, what's the goal for a vendor like yourself at these trade shows? Uh, to reconnect with the customers that are, we currently do business with, new customers. There's a large turnout at the show. But also, we uh, run into a lot of companies that are coming. They're looking to move to Omaha, so they're looking for partners in the area. So they come to Omaha, do a little investigating. A couple years ago, we uh, met some customers from Memphis, Tennessee. They actually are running a business, a large company here in Omaha now, uh, and they're a partner of ours. So it's a great way to meet new and see old customers. Several thousand people expected out there at the link next week. Uh, about 15 seconds left. How can people get involved? Because I understand there's still some room. Yep, they can still call our office if they still would like to exhibit. We'll do our best to get them in this week. And then other than that, it's the attendance. So check out the website. And uh, the opening lunch looks tremendous with Governor Ricketts and Nebraska Chamber President Barry Kennedy. They'll award the Manufacturing Awards of the Year at the show. All right, and it's free now at the CenturyLink Center next uh, Wednesday, Thursday, September 2nd and 3rd. Bob, Tim, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you, Dave.